Hey guys, it's Reacher, your host for today's video. Whether you're on it, in it, or under it, water has a ton of potential for fun. For those of you that love it, here are 10 innovative amphibious creations. Number 10, the Beast of Burden. Whether you say it's a house that floats on water or a boat that runs on land, there was somebody long ago who first thought of putting the two together. Luckily, there are those whose pursuit of fun still yields these big boy toys we now call houseboats. Theon Parsigan of Aurora, New York came up with his idea during a brainstorming session with a friend. The end result was one he appropriately and affectionately named the Beast of Burden. He took the chassis from an old school bus and onto that he married a 32-foot 1967 Sunliner with a Rickle three-wheeled tractor sprayer. He extended the axle with custom-made wheel spacers and mounted 66-inch big boom tires on it. A 40-gallon fuel tank feeds a Caterpillar V8 diesel engine. Hydraulically controlled steering, dual propellers, and a four-wheel drive transfer case with drive shafts going to three different gearboxes rounded out. All told, he spent about $10,000 in six months bringing the project to life. And he did it for the best reason of all, because he thought it would be cool to do so. Number 9. The Sea Legs 7.1M Rib the 7.1M is a semi-rigid amphibian built for use in areas such as fire and flood rescue, patrol, and conservation. This extremely tough piece of work has a hole made from 5mm marine grade aluminum. Wheels up, the overall length is 23.5 feet. There's room for a total of 8 passengers and multiple storage areas for equipment. The total dry displacement is roughly 2,900 pounds with a suggested maximum payload of 1,543 pounds. Control is maintained by a joystick to activate forward or reverse while a steering wheel controls the wheels and outboard motor. On land, the power comes from a 24 horsepower inboard capable of 5 miles per hour on its three 25 inch wheels. In the water, you're looking at a 150 horsepower outboard with a top speed of 46 miles per hour and an estimated range of 93 miles. When sailors mention getting their sea legs, do you think this is what they were thinking of? Number 8. The Cam 120 Just by looking at it, you can tell this rig is purely a workhorse. This barge was strictly designed for mussel and oyster farming. The aluminum hull measures in at 36 feet by 10.5 feet. The 5.5 foot diameter wheels make it great for driving on sand and mud. Power comes from a 250 horsepower outboard motor. Hydraulics for the equipment and wheels are controlled by a 125 horsepower diesel unit. The enclosed wheelhouse has a control panel for both driving and sailing. A maximum of six tons of cargo creates a shallow draft just a little over two feet, allowing for farming during low tides. I'm not sure about you, but this one has got me thinking about grabbing a few beers and some oysters on the half shell after this video is over. Number seven, the Avtoros Shaman. The word shaman alludes to one who is endowed with special abilities and protects people from trouble. This eight-wheeled four-axle vehicle comes in two versions. Although there is room for customization on both, the standard outfit starts with an overall 20-foot length, 8-foot width, and 9-foot height. The 176-horsepower diesel engine puts out about 258 foot-pounds of torque to the six-speed manual transmission. Low-pressure tires with independent suspension allow for a maximum land speed of 44 miles per hour depending on the terrain. When in the water, a maximum speed of 4.3 miles per hour can be attained. And it's safe to say that with a ground clearance of one and a half feet, there isn't too much slowing this thing down. Steering can be switched to the front, back, or side wheels only. Couple that with the control panel's responsiveness and you've got great maneuverability and stability when driving off-road. After watching this video and reading the specs, it does seem as if this was an aptly named vehicle. Number 6. The Mini Moke if a Jeep and a golf cart had a baby, it would be the Mini Moke. Although I should call it a little monster when you take into account what it can do. Coming from the mind of French vehicle design company Lazarus, this amphibious replica pays homage to the original built from 1964 to 1993. The vehicle can run at an impressive 56 miles per hour on land, and with just a few seconds transition, it can drive into the water where a propeller can push it at 8 miles per hour. All of this is thanks to its 400cc four-stroke engine. The Mini Moke 7.5 foot all-aluminum foam-filled frame can accommodate two passengers. You don't need a boat license to run this one on water, but life jackets and oars are mandatory. Really though, does this not look like something James Bond would buy for his grandchildren? 
Number 5. The Triton NPO Aviation and Space Technologies from Piatigorsk, Russia has developed an all-terrain flying amphibious vehicle for the military and emergency service personnel. The Triton allows for a crew of two people. The length, height, and width are 10 feet, 7 feet, and 6 feet respectively. When empty, the vehicle weighs in at about 150 pounds. It can reach a speed of up to 260 miles per hour on land. It can glide across all manner of watery obstacles and deploy a flex wing for flights of up to 250 miles with a maximum altitude of 2.5 miles. The Triton was first presented to the public at the MAX 2017 Air Show with a projected availability date of late 2018. While you watch the rest of this video, I'm going to try to wrap my head around flying in an open vehicle at 13,000 feet. Number 4. The LT-8x8XHD Land Tamer designs their vehicles to be tougher, safer, and more versatile than the standard amphibious vehicle. The 8x8XHD shows exactly how they do it. It's made from a hand-welded, marine-grade aluminum frame that can be outfitted with a fully enclosed cab for hot or cold climates. All models utilize 30-inch tall tires or 20-inch wide rubber tracks that provide an 11-inch ground clearance that allows mobility through all types of terrain. An 80-horsepower turbo diesel engine provides for a land speed of 20 to 25 miles per hour and a water speed of 5 to 6 miles per hour. The cargo deck and storage compartments allow for up to 3,000 pounds of extra weight. It comes in at a length of 14 and a half feet and a width of 6 and a half feet. Factor in the 7 foot height and you have one massive beast of a vehicle. Number 3. The Polaris Rampage If you're familiar at all with off-road vehicles, then you know the name Polaris. The Rampage shows why the company continues to lead in innovation and design. Polaris has been working in conjunction with the Canadian military to develop the Rampage. They needed a small and agile vehicle that could handle almost any terrain, even in sub-zero arctic conditions. The Rampage is powered by a 1000cc engine under its rear deck which can propel it to over 60 miles per hour. It uses a standard steering wheel to control the rotation of its dual tracks and it can rotate 360 degrees on its own axis. With doors installed, the fully enclosed and heated cab can keep occupants comfortable in freezing conditions. Unfortunately, the Rampage is not available to the public at this time and remains exclusively a military project. Number 2. The Wheelcraft It's an amphibious vehicle. It's an ice fishing house. It's a blind for hunters. It's the genius that is Wheelcraft. Tom Roaring, a St. Paul, Minnesota native, invented it in his suburban garage over a number of years, starting in 1998. The whole style design and long wheelbase create a stable platform for up to 600 pounds of cargo. The 305cc power plant and two-speed gearbox allow for traveling as fast as 20 miles per hour. A locking differential and up to 11 inches of ground clearance combine to help clear obstacles. The large interior and canvas cover are perfect for ice fishing or setting up a deer blind. It also floats, which is why it's been used as an ice rescue vehicle as well. An upgraded version called the Wheelcraft Hydro weighs in at 740 pounds with a 25 horsepower engine. The basic Wheelcraft starts at $10,500 while the Hydro starts at $14,500. And though the technology is proven, the price is still a factor in sales. Number 1. The Sea Lion so you're cruising down the road at a subtle 100 or so miles per hour when you come upon a river. Normal people would just cross the bridge, but we're not normal so that idea just got thrown out the window. Enter Mark Witt, the inventor of the sea lion. His goal was to beat the water speed record of 45 miles per hour set by an amphibious car. After six years he felt he had created a vehicle that had resolved every conflicting interaction between a car and a boat. Mark built the car over a 174 horsepower Mazda rotary engine. When on the water the Sea Lion uses a jet ski like jet drive. These power plants let the car achieve 125 miles per hour on land and up to 60 miles per hour on water. The front wheels enter up into the wheel wells once you're in the water with two covers plugging the holes. The Sea Lion is a single seater, so there's no passenger experience to speak of. So if you're looking for a car that goes fast, looks unique, and can transition into a speedboat in seconds, then this is the car for you.
Hey guys, this is Amber and Alex from Minds Eye Design. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell us in the comments below what you found to be the most interesting and why. Also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest tech. Thank, Thank you for watching. I'll see you.